on your impa. Oh! And it says here, Pony Rimpa refers to Junpei's nickname for the dog portrait in Second Class Cabin. Okay, so it was... Right, okay. I thought that was something serious. Okay. Uh, I think I'll go with that anyway. Fuck it. Uh, 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 uh Rimpa. See? I, I mean, this totally looks like one. And here, and here... It looks like a dragon to me. What the hell is a Funya Rimpa? I have no idea. What? What, what do you mean? What the hell is a Funya Rimpa? <laughs> you mean you, you don't know? Yeah, you don't know, Lotus. In blasphemy. How the hell would I know? How could you not know? <laughs> I like the little shock in his voice. So, like, how do you not know who DPG, who DP, who DP Games is? I can't even talk today. The fuck. That's whew, that's practically blasphemous. Yes. Oh, oh, say you're sorry. Apologize to the Funya Reaper. <laughs> Goodness, you are such a rude I love boy. him. He's brilliant. Chinpei, are you just screwing around? You mean never. <laughs> Forget it. I'm just going to tell you. This is a dog. Oh, okay, so he's a dog then. See? Like this. Oh! So, oh, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Now I see it, though. I cannot unsee it. That's mad. Now we know what it's a picture of, but I, I don't see how that helps us. It's really weird. A TV show from Great Britain did an experiment once. Oh, did they? They took two similar pictures. Both of them were difficult to identify, initially. But once you figured out the answer, you couldn't see it as anything else. I swear, I'm, I'm, I'm a Time Lord. I know what she's coming up with. I've just said that now I've seen I can't unsee it. I'm connected with this game, ladies and gentlemen. These two pictures. The first was a woman wearing a hat. The other one, well, to make it easier, let's just say it was this picture of a dog. So. Their experiment. First, they sent the picture to other parts of the world outside the reach of British air. Now I can see the woman with the hat on that. I don't forget how hard smart can be. I've not played it in ages, mate. I really need to get back on it. In all honesty. So I can't remember that is that now cross platform? I think Chewie said something about it being cross platform. I know a few of them are now, but to Ireland, the US, Africa, Europe, etc. Then, in each country, they gathered a number of test subjects, roughly a thousand people. They were shown the two pictures and asked, what does this picture look like to you? The results weren't really interesting on their own. 9.2% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. 3.9% saw the dog in the dog picture. That's crazy. To say that only smarter people recognize it from the get-go unless you know the answer because again that kind of looked like freaking some sort of like dragon above a massive like what what do you want to call it? excalibur or some shit like that that the woman picture you can clearly tell now now you know what it is though it could be i don't know to be fair dude yeah it's been a while since i played smite then two days later they aired a new program on their show during the 30-minute show, they broadcast the dog picture and its solution. The audience was estimated to be 200,000 people. After the broadcast, it was a safe bet that the number of people who knew the solution to the dog picture was at least that many. After another two days passed, they gathered more research subjects from areas outside the reach of British TV and radio. This time, they only found a sample of roughly 850 people. Naturally, none of them had participated in the first test. They were, however, given the same test and the same two pictures. The results were startling. 10% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. The previous test sat at a 9.2% success rate. Not much of a change to You didn't tell me the dog went through the roof. The dog picture, however, produced a very different result. 
the percentage of people able to successfully find the dog, it went from 3.9% to 6.8%, a very significant increase. Eh, slightly. So do you understand? Do you realize the significance of this experiment? There was no way the second group could have seen the picture. They lived far away from Britain and couldn't have seen it. But even so, it was only the success rate for the dog picture that went up. Small sample size. Shakes my damn... I'm assuming that some days it shakes my damn head. Why? How did that happen? What does it does mean? It have anything to do with what I'm doing right now? <laughs> yeah, I think his first game on top 35. I got... Yeah, that long. yeah, yeah, yeah. Depending on what game mode you're playing, it can take about half an hour. Arena can be quite quick. Oh, wait, does this have something to do with that field or whatever it was that you were talking about earlier? A field not visible to the eye. So, if more people know the answer, then that information will pass through the field. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Ha. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I love how they this game out with. Hmm. Ha. Hmm. Yeah. Psych. <laughs> I was just kidding. You really shouldn't take me seriously. Damn, woman. You know, I was actually falling for that. Well, I mean, the things I just told you about are true. They really did happen. But the results of that experiment really aren't anything to go by. They could have easily falsified them. In the end, I'm sure they were just in it for the ratings. They are a TV station after all. <laughs> Man, I gotta admit, you had me there for a minute. Yeah, you had me there as well, bitch. I, uh, really thought you were serious. <laughs> of course not. Like I told you before, I'm sure it's all just pseudoscience. Pseudo, pseudo, what was there? There? That one? Uh, oh, okay, right. <laughs> Even he's confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough nonsense. We've got the key. Let's get out of here. Word. Word to your mother. I wish your mother. Huh. A field not visible to the naked eye. Just give me one second. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, imagine being the voice for Conville for this. Just make noises for a while. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Huh. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It, like, just give us your best random noises you can make. How, how would you describe this sentence? Dot. 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 Hmm. <laughs> Morphogenetic field. Right, so that means we've got the key for the door. We're way back out of here. All right, let's go to the hallway. I'll get you. You guys head to the door. Okay, Roger that. Yes, it unlocked. Good job, Jumpy. Good. Now we can get going. Come on, what are you guys standing around for? Let's get out of here. Uh, where's June? Oh, okay. Well, June didn't pop up. Oh, there she is. Come on, June, let's go. Yay. I was looking for you, Bay. Someone needs some WD-40 on that. You found it. Oh, another hallway. More elevators and stuff. Come on, open! The more and more I go around this, like, hip hallway and decks, it does look more and more like a replica of the Titanic now, thinking of it. It's not going to open because you rattled it, you know. Damn it! Damn it, woman! Look over here! Elevators and the buttons. Of course, they don't work. The power must be out here, too, just like by the staircase. That leaves this door. 
Well, looks like we don't have any choice. Yeah. Sure does. Well then, let's, let's open. Let's go. All right. Here I go. Oh. So it's a kitchen. What were you expecting? Isn't it obvious? The exit. I was hoping this would be the way out. It would have been that easy, dude. Come on. <laughs> you really think it'd be that easy? I am connected with Jumpy, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Still. If we can just get through this door, we should come out on the other side of that grate we saw earlier. Hmm. <sighs> no good. I guess that wasn't very constructive. Right, so. We've got like a card reader. Anyway, uh, let's take a look. Can't just open the door. Every character must voice their approval. Yeah. Hey. What's that? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess I forgot. Oh, to yeah. We, we found a map, ladies and gentlemen. I found this a little while ago. It's a map of the B deck. Let me see that. I knew it. See? Look. Yes, yes. Hold your horses. What did you figure out? This is handy. See? We came in here. Now if we go out there, then we'll be on the other side of the grate. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So if we come out... Right. Can I move the... Yeah, I can't move that there. So, on the right-hand side of the map, there's that corridor with two doors on each end, which we went into. And you come through, there's a grate that way. The elevator's at the north point, at the top, bit near the R1 button. And we've gone through the only door available. If we go through the opposite door, which is further down the south on the same side, it goes through the grate. Okay, cool. How about that? And it points it out from it. We can get He's holding my hand. Quack, quack, you were right. It's literally baby's first freaking point and click, this. There we go. Here, you can have it back. Thanks. There's a card reader on the right side of the door. And that means the key card is somewhere in here, right? Probably. That seems the most likely. All right, we know what we need to do then. Let's get moving. First off, I say we split up and look for clues. Okay. Let's seek a way out. Okay, so... So yeah, the door on the top right will be the way into the um, other hallway we want to go to. We've got other doors uh, and we're in, we're in the kitchen. A voucher, it says... Appetizer, nine. Meat dish, ten. Soup, A. Seafood, dish, F. Those nine plates looked, plates looked very expensive. They're plates for appetizers. Remember, appetizers usually come on square plates. I swear, the amount of research people must do in games like this just to bump out the, uh, the, the talking. Okay, okay, well, excuse me, princess. One, two, three, there's ten of them. Look these over, they look like hats. In the middle of... In the middle is super deep for a plate. They're soup plates. They're made that way so that the soup doesn't spill. If we ever get out of here, you should treat yourself to a nice dinner out. Nice. I know we're getting some proper etiquette shit going down here. Cheers, Lotus. You know, fucking Princess Jasmine over here. Want to be looking like cosplay? Fucking hell. What makes you think a poor college student has the money to do something like that? So what about this one then? I think there are 15 of these plates. I'm assuming they're for seafood. How can you tell that? They look like just like any other plate from the 99 cent store. Damn! You know what, Lois? I'm going to be taking June out instead, and I'm sure she's more happy to have a KFC 
bucket to eat out of. I like you, miss, I've got to have the right plate for the right part of my meal. Eh, fuck you. I feel sorry for you. Fuck you! <laughs> this game's, this game's reading me. This game's reading me. Where? Where? Why the hell are you bringing up Jew? The lady doth protest too much, methinks. You are not terribly subtle. Oh, fuck you! Bunch of little wavy ridges on this plate. Those plates are for serving meat. Okay. You really are ignorant, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I'm an ignorant northerner. Lotus inflicts psychic damage. Critical strike! <laughs> well, it's not like I need to know this crap. Jeez. Exactly. That's what I said to tell people. Okay, let's go left first. I'm assuming we're going to need a code, yeah. We need to find some sort of code. Okay. That's going to open that up to what we need. All we've got here is a pot and a frying pan. Oh, and a pressure cooker. I guess we could use some of those as weapons. What kind of idiot are you? You're going to run around on that thing while you're looking for the dead? Hey man, it's just a joke. Why so serious? Oh my god, they dropped a Batman reference in there. Why so serious? There's a pot on top of the stove. There's some ingredients around here I could cook up something for. Oh, okay. Lotus can actually cook? Make me a sandwich. What the hell do you think I am? You better believe I know how to boil hot water and put in my instant noodles. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah, I can Okay, this game is this game's cool. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Can't beat a bit of uh, super noodle. And and I can boil eggs too. Fun fact, I'm terrible at cooking. I just put stuff on a tray, stick it in the oven, wait for the timer. Or if I'm boiling stuff, it's pasta, noodles. Um, and the eggs, anything on toast, uh, <laughs> and stuff like that. Oh, I think I think I offended her. Bottles of seasoning. Okay. What about over here? Oh, a countertop. Rolling pin and a colander. Nothing useful. What about these bins? Trash can. Nothing inside. Better than being full of rotten food? Yeah, that's a good point. Is it the same as this one? Nothing in here. Digging through the trash really suits you. What the hell did you just say? Listen, lady. I did you a favour. I knew you'd just kiss and moan, but I did it for you. Oh my. I don't really cost you, you to do anything. <laughs> God, she's a sassy bitch. Uh, I want to thrill you. Squeeze me. Does does it feel colder in here? Damn. Okay. What about? No, I didn't mean to do. I meant to try and grab that there, but whatever. What about this over here instead? Here we go. Can I open you? I wonder what this drawer is. See the metal grate on top of the grill? I make it so. That the fat and juices can drip off meat when it cooks. Yeah, but it all seems to be stuck. It won't open. God damn it! I want all the juicy bits. That's what. That's all the goodness. All right, it's going. I think it was all part of the zero's plan. Probably. Kind of hard to believe there's a chef on board somewhere. I'd be surprised if actually one of our characters has got some culinary skills. Depends which character you got put with. Um, right, so... A lot of notes. It's got a bunch of stuff written on them, but it doesn't look like code or anything. What about underneath there? Damn it. This table really looks old-fashioned. Well, it means this is an old boat. There we go. Wow. This pot looks like it's been made out of silver. Drinking tea from this pot would be really yummy. 
um, drinking tea out of any pot probably would be really good as long as it's clean. Spending the day off with June drinking tea? Would such a day ever happen to me? Dude, get your act together. Jumpy? Oh, nothing. So I was just reading the message on my phone for a second. Uh, we don't really need hot water, so we should be moving on. Oh, underneath there would have been... No, okay, maybe not then. Right, so we've got a door there with some weird latch. Can I open you? Ah, okay. We've got cheese wheels. Got a lot of these... So much stuff in here. Oh, I can't. Probably a pantry. Milk over here. Milk in an iron barrel? Judging by the rust, it's probably really old. Maybe we shouldn't open it up. It's probably all cheese now. Probably all, like stinky cheese. Okay, there's something behind there. Hey! Something behind the cheese. You're right. I don't remove some of the cheese. <laughs> I look for this and like, yeah, we're getting to that point. Alright guys, time to move it. June and I need to look behind you. There's a little green ball back there. So what is it then? Bottle of oil. Looks, um... I, yeah, it is. It's like, oh, I wouldn't have known it was cheese if it didn't have a label that said cheese. We've got That looks like some sort of like dodgy um, Mountain Dew wrapper. Uh, but wrapper. Fucking hell, Dave. Um, Mountain Dew bottle, I mean. Okay, so we've got a bottle of oil. Um, can we zoom in close to these? Hands landing the shelf, wooden box on the second row though. Can I just pinpoint you? There we go. Okay, we've got a knife. A rusty knife? Okay, a rusty knife. I don't think we'll be able to use it while it's like this. It's futile. Are you the are you secretly Borg? Resistance is futile. Futile. You know, a waste, useless, pointless. Oh. Um. Uh, any particular reason you wanted to bring that up? Oh, no reason really. I was just thinking about futility. Hey. Huh? Why were you thinking about futility? Well, it has something to do with the Titanic. The Titanic. Yep. Have you ever heard the story that the sinking of the Titanic was predicted? Were you getting some sort of conspiracy theory game going on here right now? It went from mathematics to haunting fucking mummies to fucking, you know, it was predicted. You know, I can't remember if I've ever heard that there was a... Uh... I don't know, to be honest. No, I, I haven't. What is it? In 1892, 14 years before the Titanic sank, a novel was published. It was called Futility. It was written by an American novelist named Morgan Robertson. The story was about a big cruise ship colliding with an iceberg and... That could have been any cruise ship, though. Of course, if that was the only similarity, there wouldn't be any reason to right. mention it. It wasn't, though. The name of the ship, its nationality, course, departure time, size, displacement, maximum speed, number of passengers and crew, the number of lifeboats. Okay, that dude is a time lord. Even the location of the accident itself, and the cause, and the location of the damage. Everything matches the Titanic almost exactly. It was almost as if he'd seen the whole thing happen. But this book was written 14 years before the Titanic sank. Hmm. But that's not all. It wasn't just futility that predicted the sinking of the Titanic. But wait, there's more. There were two other similar stories written by a man named William Thomas Stead. Both of them before the accident. One in 1886 and one in 1892. Stead wrote two stories that had striking similarities to the Titanic disaster. In one, 
two ships collided. Many of the passengers died because there weren't enough lifeboats. In the other, a ship collided with an iceberg and sank. Okay, well the first one was more similar than these last two. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I'll give you that it seems a little weird, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't too uncommon for ships to hit icebergs back in the day, or even other ships. Right, I knew you'd say that. Hmm? But, what if Stead had some sort of special powers? I'm listening. To be more specific, what if he had the ability to do automatic writing? Okay. You know what? I'm starting to get really worried about this girl. Why would I be, why would my character be like, oh, you know, I, I like this girl. She's coming out with some random flat earth, uh, random ass time lord, doctor who, woo woo woo, do 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 do, that style shit, I'm telling you. Why do I fall for the weirdos? Automatic writing? Wait, are you? Are you talking about when someone's possessed by a spirit and then they, they write a bunch of stuff without knowing what they're writing? Yes. What do you mean, yes? That stuff's a load of bull. Okay, let's say, hypothetically, that automatic writing isn't a total load. These guys still couldn't have predicted the sinking of the Titanic. When this Stead dude wrote his thing, nobody had died on the Titanic yet. So if automatic writing is about being possessed by dead people, who the hell possessed him so he could write that stuff? That's not it. What's not it? Stead wasn't possessed by a spirit. Okay. He was doing the possessing. Okay. Oh. Hmm. What are you smoking? That's what we've all been trying to say. William Thomas Stead was a passenger on the Titanic. He just wrote down what he saw with his own eyes. 20 years before it happened. Um, well, uh... <laughs> well, uh, why, why don't we talk about this some other time, okay? Huh? But... Yeah, she's definitely four dimensions, 20 motorways, freaking several planets, and God knows what away from us. Come on, let's get back to it. Okay, so we got a rusty knife. She's off a fucking rocker, I'm telling you. Nothing inside, so I thought there might have been something there. Um, if these games are going to be like this, it's going to be cool, this. Okay, so we've done this room. Right, can I open you? No, I didn't mean that. Can I open you? Okay, so it's still picking up. Okay, so we're going to have to go round. So if we go... And we go back, back and forth and forth and back, back and forth and forth. Um. Am I supposed to... Can I go over here? Here we go. That's a bolt. And it's really rusty. Will this even open? I won't know until we give it a try. Let's give it a shot. See if you're gonna come out. Damn. No dice. Hey, okay, can I put oil on that? All is rusted in place. It won't budge. Of course. Maybe if I put some oil on it. Hey. It's a little bit of oil and... Come on. Come on, you little son of a bitch. I am fucking God. You got it, you little bastard. You did it, Jumpy. So smart. He's stroking my ego now. I'm kind of scared. 